Now let's get to the latest on that controversy that's hitting TikTok. Yeah, Indiana's AG, Attorney General, sued the social media app yesterday, accusing its parent company of exposing children to mature content and not disclosing that China could access its data. This marks the first time a state has actually sued the company. Yeah, attorney and legal analyst Angela Senadella joins us now. Angela, good morning. Thanks for joining us. So, you know, there's been a lot of drama over TikTok, kind of like rumors. Is it going to go away yeah. completely? We're seeing some states enact that. So tell us, what do these specific lawsuits allege? And then also, how has TikTok's owner responded? So both the lawsuits allege deception, and the first is regarding child safety. So they claim that they are 13 plus and thus appropriate for teens between the ages of 13 and 17. But if you're actually on the app, you see there is so much content that is extremely mature, whether or not it's sexual or has to do with alcohol or drugs or tobacco. So what this lawsuit is alleging is that this material is not appropriate for teens. And so the actual complaint says that it is a wolf in sheep's clothing. Mm -hmm. Similarly, with data security, it's the same thing, that even though they claim the data is not being pushed to China, if you take a look at Chinese laws, Chinese government is allowed to actually access any U.S. affiliates data of a Chinese-owned company. Mm -hmm. So TikTok has not fully responded yet, and we'll really see what they say. Um, we mentioned this is the first time a state has actually filed suit against TikTok, but we've also seen Texas Governor Abbott and Maryland Governor Larry Hogan ban TikTok yeah. on any state devices that government employees have access to. So should we expect more states to follow suit? Is this a growing trend? It's absolutely going to be a trend, but frankly, it's not just for TikTok. It's for all of social media and user-generated content in mm. general. But yes, we will see other states watch what's happening with this lawsuit, see whether or not TikTok implements more safety barriers to help teens, and then we'll see how they react. Angela, we've also seen the federal government struggle to reach a deal with TikTok over these growing concerns specifically related to national security and the ownership of the TikTok app. There's been rumors, as I mentioned before, the former president had discussed banning it outright. Could it ever get to that point where the app is banned in the U.S.? I don't foresee that in any immediate future. Obviously, who knows with the next presidential administration, et cetera. But Almost all tech companies just compile all of our user data. And if you're going to ban TikTok, you're going to then have to ban almost any app or any technology that could be accessed by China, which means if China owns anything, we're going to have to ban it. Mm. I don't foresee that happening. That's a massive step. But we'll see, what's, we'll see what the future holds. Good information there, Angela. Thank you so much. Thanks for watching our YouTube channel. Follow today's top stories and breaking news by downloading the NBC News app.